In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about five no content and low content books you can create to sell on Amazon KDP. And if you're someone who uses print on demand websites such as Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, and all of these other ones, I also have you guys covered in this video. I'll be showing you how you can easily take your designs from your other print on demand sites to put them onto Amazon KDP. Through reading some of my comments, I realized that this is something that some of you guys actually wanted to see. So if you're ready for this one, please do drop a like as that would be very much appreciated and with that said let's jump straight into it hi guys my name is phil and welcome to the money game youtube channel for anyone who's new around here i make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops now if you're new around here and you haven't already please do click on that subscribe button as that would be very much appreciated and make sure that you're turning on the notification bells as well so you don't miss out on any of my future videos i've actually helped a lot of people get their first online sales through websites like redbubble nevertheless for anyone looking to start their print on demand journey down in the description i have a free print on demand guide that features some information that helped me to actually get my first online sales through sites like redbubble however if you're looking to turn this into more of a full-time thing i also have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's linked down below now that said amazon kdp is what we are talking about today a long while ago i made a video showing you guys how to get started how to create your accounts and how to go about things pretty much if you've not checked that video out i'll make sure to link it down in the description you're definitely going to want to watch that video for everything to kind of make more sense to you guys and just to break down how this video is going to go down firstly i'm going to quickly run over how you can get your other print on demand designs to convert them into kdp designs then i'll talk about how to create titles descriptions and keywords effectively for your amazon kdp and then i'll jump into talking about the five low content and no content books that you can create to allow you to have more of a variation of books that you're actually selling through amazon if that sounds good to you please make sure to watch up until the end as that would be very much appreciated Jumping into this, if you're looking to convert your normal print on demand designs into KDP book covers, you want to come onto Merch Titans on the PNG to KDP PDF cover converter once you're here you want to go on to choose files and select the files that you're going to actually put onto here and once you've edited your designs they'll pop up as you can see here i just selected some random designs that i created now before you convert you want to choose the background color i usually go for black as it's the easiest one to go with uh, you want to make sure that everything is converted best way to do that is to make sure that you just click on convert all just like this once you do that everything will convert once everything is done converting you can literally click download all and all of the png images or images you put through this then come out in book cover form i actually covered this in a full video if you want to learn more about that and how to kind of take more advantage of this make sure to watch that video as that will also be linked down in the description now as for how to title use keywords and create descriptions for your Amazon KDP listings. This is what you're gonna have to do. A lot of you guys had been asking me about this, but for your book title, what you want to make sure that you do is that you create a title that's not too long. I mean, this is acceptable. You could make it a little bit shorter if you want, and I'm going to explain why the book title can be a little bit short. One thing you want to make sure that you're doing with the book title is that you're involving a lot of keywords and making sure that you have things that people actually search for. In this example, I put cryptocurrency trading logbook journal for crypto traders. So you've got cryptocurrency in there, you've got crypto traders, and then you've got logbook and journal. So you've got two products that this listing could potentially appear under. And you've also got the crypto niche kind of added in there in the title. Now, as for the subtitle, for people who don't know what this is, when you put listings on KDP, you'd usually see a title, a colon, and then anything after the colon is what you add into the subtitle. Now in the subtitle, once again, you want to make sure that your subtitles are keyword rich as this helps with search engine optimization for Amazon. And as you can see here in this example, I've put notebook for crypto traders to help you manage your cryptocurrency trades in bull and bear markets. So once again, I've made sure that it's keyword rich and it has things that are related. Nevertheless, as you scroll down, you will see series. You don't really have to do anything there unless your book is in the series. Edition number, you don't have to put anything there. 
author this section you do have to fill out now all you want to do is create a random author name so on first name you can put whatever you want and then on surname you put something else there as well and then when it pops up for the customer the author name for example here it would be crypto trader very easy to do you just have to make sure that you're covering these two sections next you see contributors you don't have to put anything there the description is where it gets a little bit interesting now the description once again you want to make sure that you have a lot of keywords used in there you want to be mentioning the amount of pages that you have in your book and all those little things to kind of give the customer an idea of what they'll be getting now in the first example at the top here this would be a normal description that you guys could use but if you was to keep it as this and then list your book the description wouldn't look as good it would just be a bunch it'll pretty much look like a paragraph and it won't look as professional if you ask me so to change this there's a site that you need to use that will allow you to actually put bullet points that site generates a html code and when you put the html code here it looks something like this and it allows you to end up with bullet points and to quickly explain what i mean by bullet points it's something that looks a little bit like this as you can see there instead of a paragraph you actually have bullet points now to get the bullet points you want to go into kindlepreneur.com once you're here you just want to scroll down onto this little box and if you have a description already typed up you want to just paste it in here just as an example i'll quickly paste in the little paragraph that i was talking about before so we'll just click paste and sometimes this little box pops up if it pops up you just paste whatever you're putting in in this region click ok and then the text should pop up now all you want to do if you want to put bullet points on this information is to highlight everything and you can click on bullet list or numbered list depending on what you want so we'll click bullet list if you want the text to be bold you can literally just click bold like that and it will make it bolder and once this is done you want to generate your code and then you can copy your code and then once you copy your code you then want to go back to your description and let's say i'm just removing all this you can just paste in the new code you have and this will be your new description the text will be bold it will be set into bullet points and at this point you'll be pretty much good to go in regards of your description once that's done you want to click i own the copyright and hold the necessary publishing rights once you do this it takes you to the keywords the keywords are very very important now it's important that when you're creating keywords you do not repeat any of the keywords that you have in your title so as you can see cryptocurrency logbook journal crypto traders we do not want to be repeating anything in there or as well as in the subtitles as well to the best of our ability we want to find words that are in relation to the niche that we're in or the keywords that we've already used to allow us to get more of a boost when it comes to the search so here for example we've got for dummies did a little bit of research and i saw that crypto for dummies was something that people would be looking for through amazon so i added for dummies as a keyword obviously crypto coins crypto coin something that people look for it's there cryptocurrency gifts presents it's another one there investing market dip to the moon these are all crypto based keywords and in each of these boxes you don't have to just put one keyword you can put multiple keywords i would say maybe go up to four or five nothing too crazy but if you're doing that make sure that you are putting spaces between the words and not actually using commas as that's not needed and yeah once your keywords are set and good to go you want to go over to the category section here you just want to click on choose categories in this instance we've covered a low content crypto based book so i'll put it on non-fiction business and economics uh general and then save i mean you can look into the categories a little bit more just to make sure whatever it is you're covering does fall into that correct category but once this point is completed you want to go into the next section obviously is this adult content you just put no because it doesn't contain any sort of bad language or inappropriate images or anything like that once this is done you then go to save and continue after actually doing that it will then take you to the next page as you can see here you want to generate a kdp isbn you just click this and it will assign you a random isbn number 
once that is done you scroll down you don't have to put a date if you do you can just put today's date but i never usually put a date there in terms of the print options you're pretty much choosing how you want the interior to look in terms of color so you could have a cream colored paper or white paper i usually go for a black and white interior with white paper but obviously you can go with what you feel is correct there in terms of trim size six by nine is usually okay for me and no bleed or bleed i usually go with bleed as my interior is from pdfs and then towards the bottom here you can choose whether you want the paperback to be matte or glossy if it's a book like this or so crypto based trading stuff like that you'd go with matte if it was something for children you could go with glossy and all you need to do at this point is then upload the paperback manuscript this is pretty much what is inside so your interior and yeah whilst it's loading up the interior if you don't know how to do that once again if you watch the video that i made prior to this one that will be linked down in the description i show you how you can create your own interiors from scratch so yep that's just down below once that is done you then want to upload a cover that you already have you just click on this option and you can actually upload it yourself once that's done obviously this will now be ticked off as well if you want to go into launch reviewer now i've just clicked on a random design for this example but i'm going to launch it anyways so you guys would see what the preview will actually look like it does take a little bit of time sometimes it could take a couple of minutes to actually load it's a bit of a pain to do but you can actually open up multiple tabs and upload multiple books at the same time once it's finished loading it will look something like this it will show you obviously how the barcode will now be added how all of your pages will look in terms of whatever interior you've decided to use all you want to do here is click approve and then you can jump over to the next step very very easily and then once it comes up that what you want to do is scroll to the very bottom what you want to do is just go and save and continue after it says save successful it takes you to the next page which is paperback rights and pricing here you can literally add the pricing you want if you're going by dollars i would suggest you go with around 6.95 you can even go 595 if you want but if you're looking to get slightly higher royalties you can see here 695 in dollars will get you one dollar 88 but once again your listing price is up to you but always try to be as competitive as you can especially if you don't have any sales it's just another option to allow you to have more things out there being sold nevertheless once you've done everything you just want to click on publish your paperback book i'm not going to publish this one but this is the process that you guys will actually have to go through if you're looking to actually publish your own books after that you usually see a screen that shows you that it's now going to go into review it can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for a book to be reviewed once it's reviewed it will then be put up for sale on amazon for people to be able to actually purchase it and to finish off like i said i will be showing you five different types of low content and no content books you can actually sell through amazon kdp the first one is coloring books this is just an example someone titled this easy coloring book for adults when you click on the images it shows you an example of obviously what's in this on the back page which is a nice little touch if you're looking to create your own coloring box as well this is something that you could potentially do just show examples on the back of the book also if you're wanting me to make tutorials for any of these books that i'm going to show you guys let me know down in the description whichever one that people asks for the most is the one that i'll do a tutorial on because i know for a fact with some of these you guys may not know how to actually go about creating these types of books nevertheless the next book we have here is a sketchbook now this is more of a no content book the book that i showed you before the coloring book obviously it's a book with content it could potentially be low content depending on how many things you put into it nevertheless with sketchbooks there's something else that you guys can do you can link it to a particular niche in this instance it's just a normal sketchbook but you can do a sketchbook for bird lovers a fashion based sketchbook for people that are into design and they like drawing dresses and you know that sort of thing there's actually a lot of wiggle room depending on which niches you want to put your sketchbooks in next up we have journal slash notebooks and here you can see it's a gratitude journal so this is a journal that someone will write things in that they're thankful for you know from day one 
to the last day of the year as you can see 365 days as it says on there but journals at the end of the day are the standard products that most people usually start kdp by creating mainly because they're the easiest to do but i thought i'll just throw it in this list of five things that we would be talking about next up we have a planner now a lot of people don't really cover planners or make planners but there's websites out there that allow you to actually get interiors for planners one of the websites that actually gets you interiors for planners such as the one i'm going to be talking about here is book bolt.com i have a link down in the description where you can actually check them out if that's something you'd be interested in and the fifth type of book we have here is a logbook now this one's titled crypto trading journal or logbook this is kind of the example that i used to show you guys how to create your titles keywords descriptions that sort of thing logbooks are another product that sell and you could be creative in the types of logbooks you create so you can go with crypto logbooks accounting logbooks or logbooks for any other industry you can think of that uses them and as long as you're obviously working with the right niches you could potentially get yourself some sales selling logbooks at the end of the day you are selling on amazon the biggest online marketplace so if you can find one of these products find a niche that you can link it to there's a high chance you can potentially get sales if your niche is small enough they are the five different types of books you can sell through kdp there's a lot more that i could cover let me know if you want to see them in a future video if you've made it to this point of the video down in the comment section comment down kdp books and i'll try to respond to as many of you guys as possible always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success <laughs>